Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hallo gubar. Maxime here. Jumping from here to here on DE train is, well, not possible for me with a regular jump while crouching at the end on default competitive settings. If I long jump, however, it's definitely possible. Running with a knife or a bomb will give you a velocity of 250. If you want to define it in the more common way, it's 250 units per second. That's because in CSGO, we measure length with units. If you run at 250 units per second and jump on a flat surface, you will travel roughly 217. Let you know the different units that we can get how can we increase them? This is done by strafing, as explained in my B-Hop tutorial. To strafe, press A or D in the air while moving left or right with the mouse to gain speed. When you are in the air, stop pressing W. Timing the release of W is really important. So a long jump is pretty much a combination of jumping and strafing. Also, crouching at the end really helps. But there's more to it than that. I can't show you it on default competitive settings. So I'll continue on a KZ server since the rest needs to be explained here. Most KZ maps will have a room full of jumping blocks so you can practice your jumping skills. First, I need to cover a feature which is on most of these servers. It's called pre-strafe, and it lets you gain more speed than usual by using the forward key plus A or D keys combined with a slight turn of the mouse. With a pre-strafe, the highest speed you can get before jumping is 276.145. In order to get some of the best long jumps possible, you always want to get as close to that amount as possible. This is one way of doing it. This is also one way of doing it. You just need to find one that works for you. When you're long jumping, you want to travel as far as possible from where you started the jump. That's obviously how you are going to get the best jumping stats. And in order to gain speed in the air, to travel further, you need to strafe left and right. So here's a line and in the middle is where we jumped. If we use this line as a path for the long jump, our strafes might look something like this. It's just an example. If this is the end of the long jump, then the jumping stats will calculate this as the long jump distance. So in other words, this is not optimal at all. We need a better path. Now here's a straight line and here's another line, but it's curves. Both lines are leaving the jumping point, which is good, but if you decide to follow this line while strafing left and right, you are potentially making it harder to get further away from the jumping point compared to this line, which is straight. It's more optimal to follow a straight line so you can focus on doing good strafes and gain as much speed as possible. Basically, when you are long jumping, try to follow a straight path to simplify the strafing process which will increase your chances of getting better jumping stats. Now, if we want to successfully cross this gap, save some space for a pre-strafe, aim slightly around one of the corners of the jumping block, and make sure you long jump right near the edge. Don't forget to crouch at the end. Finally, a well-known term on these servers is sync. Sync is how well you are matching your keyboard presses, with your mouse movements in the air. Sync should not be the main deciding factor of a good long jump, but a general rule is to always try to get a high sync in order to get a higher speed gain. It's still important, however, to think about what I said earlier, getting the highest speed possible from a pre-strafe, following a straight path, and releasing W at the right time, which, by the way, affects the sync of your first strafe. I don't spend a lot of time doing long jumps. I do consider myself decent at it, but I'm only decent because I've seen what others can do. There's a high skill ceiling for long jumps, and it requires a lot of time and practice to get really good at. The best long jumpers will spend more hours doing this than playing competitive matches. To get to their level, I strongly suggest that you start out slow with perhaps three or four strafes and make them smooth so they are consistent. Don't worry so much about distance, it's better to build something from the ground up. After you get better, you will start to experience or learn more advanced techniques, but that's something you'll have to learn by yourself. Some players will prefer a high sensitivity when they are on these servers. The only right answer I can give you here is to avoid changing sensitivity several times as it could impact your skill.
I'm using a low sensitivity and I prefer to keep it that way. You will become tired from long jumping a lot of times, so make sure you take breaks, otherwise you will just perform worse over time. I've covered pretty much the most important bits here, but you can type exclamation point options on these servers to enable more settings, which might give you a better overview. And that is how to long jump. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see 